3. Problem number 5, similar to the previous one. Here, the problem goes like this. An equity share is priced at rupees 50. The price at the end of the year and the probabilities are given below. The company does not pay any dividend. You have to underline the word does not pay any dividend. It is the most important one. Next, you have two columns information given. End of the year price and the probabilities are given for uh, five different years. The questions goes like this. The first one, what is the return that an investor can expect from this particular stock? The second one is analyze the SD of the return. The third one, calculate the coefficient of variation that is called as CV. So in this problem also, we don't have the net revenue or we don't have the returns, we have only the probability. So with the information available, first we need to calculate or compute the returns, then we have to go for the calculation of expected returns and the standard deviation and also the CV coefficient of variation. So let us go for the calculation of net revenue or returns first as the formula says total returns minus market price at the beginning is equal to net returns. So in this there are two parts the total return market price at the end of the year plus dividend. So we go one by one now. So first we go for market price at end rupees 60, 65. 70, 75 and 80. Next, the dividend. So when you read the problem, you will find that the company does not pay any dividend. So dividend is going to be the zero here for all the years. Minus the price of the stock, price of the share at the beginning that is given as rupees 50. So with this we can find out the net returns. So 60 minus 50, 65 minus 50. 70 minus 50, 75 minus 50, 80 minus 50. So first we have to find the net returns that we have calculated with the formula. Identification of this is important in the problem. These values to be taken in the column here for the calculation of expected return and standard deviation and C. So let me take this 10, 15, 20, 25 and 30. You can see I have transferred that to the main table over here. Then I will take the probability given in the problem 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.2 again and 0 0.1. Check the total the total case equal to 1. So now we have to go for multiplying the return with probability that is R into P to find the average returns. So 10 into 1, 10 into 0 0.1 that is 1, 15 into 0 0.2, 3, 20 into 0 0.4, 8, 25 into 0 0.2, 30 into 0.1 3 so after finding R into P if you add you will get expected returns the expected return here is twenty. now we have to go for finding the deviation square 
So deviation square is R minus ER whole square. So let me substitute first R values 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Next, I will substitute the ER value. ER value is here. Twenty. So I have to find the difference first. Then I have to go for squaring it. So ten minus twenty minus ten whole square. Fifteen minus twenty minus five whole square. Twenty minus twenty zero square. Twenty five minus twenty five square. Thirty minus twenty. 10 square. Then I have to go for squaring the values minus 10 into minus 10, 100, minus 5 into minus 5, 25, 0 square is 0, again 5 square is 25, and 10 square is 100. So that is the deviation square. Last step is going for weighted deviation square. So here, as the formula goes, first we have to take the probabilities, then multiply it with deviation square. So let me take the probabilities over here first. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.2 and 0 0.1. Multiply with the deviation. So here 0 0.1 into 100 that is 10, 0 0.2 into 25, 5, 0 0.4 into 0 is 0, 0, 0.2 into 25, 5, 0 0.1 into 100 is 10. So we have to add all the values over here that will give us the value total 30. Add this is a variance. So variance is straight away we can calculate from the table itself and see the question therein they have given analyze the SD of the return. So we have found the variance but we need to analyze. So here when you see the expected return is 20 and the variance is 30. So here the return is less and the risk is more. So we have to write for that analysis the return is less than variance therefore the risk is more. So you can see variance is 13, expected return is 20. So the return is less than variance therefore the risk is more. Now we can go for calculation of uh, the SD. So based on SD also we can give the analysis but here they have given analyze the SD. Ok we will go for calculation of SD. 30 square that becomes 5.47 so in this way, return is more than the risk is less. So based on this, if you work out SD, so return is more 20, the variance that is the SD is less. So the risk is less. So this is the way to analyze. Then we have to go for calculation of uh, the variance. So standard deviation divided by the expected return, standard deviation is 5.47, expected return is 20 multiplied by 100, so CV is equal to 27.35%.